Hello everybody, my name is Adele and I am the owner of Hannah B and I'm going to show you how to mix two colors together. So we have six different colors with Hannah B, um, but sometimes we like to customize them even more. So this is our most popular combination if you have somebody who has dirty blonde eyebrows and you don't want any warmth in them. Number two and number four. We never use number two on its own because it can kind of go kind of greeny. And if you're looking for that really light eyebrow that's not gonna overwhelm anybody, I would do about three fourths number two and one fourth number four. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like today. Most commonly I would say you do half and half. But if you're really looking for someone with really, really light and you don't wanna give them very much at all, just kind of give them that little pop, then you would do three fourths, three fourths number two and one fourth number four. Alrighty, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my dampened dish. With the dampened dish, when you get it, you turn it upside down. This is gonna allow for less waste of product. So if we're putting it in here, you're gonna be wasting a lot of it on the edges. This one, it just allows for easier access and you're not gonna waste the product. So what I like to do is when I get my henna bee, jars is it'll come with a little plastic pla uh, uh, plug and what I like to do is recycle that. Put that away. You can have this open on your shelf. It's not going to do any harm to the henna. The henna is not actually activated until it's added with hot water. So I like to get rid of the plug and then just make sure you're sitting it up and you're not tilting it over and wasting all the product. So I'm going to take my number four. We've got these new spoons. So if you don't have one, you can get one on our site. Um, we usually just kind of dump it out, but um, this will just add for more precision. Um, I It took a long time to get the spoons because I didn't want plastic in our kits. So this is um, a product of love that took a while. So <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out, I would say, about two scoops of number four. And then we'll take our number two. And when you're mixing between the two colors, you wanna make sure that you wipe off your spoon in between because we don't wanna get any of the number four in the number two because if somebody you know, needs to have more of this, then we need to allow for not um, it kind of contaminating the color. So we're going to do two, three, four, I'm going to go with five, five scoops of number two. <clears throat> All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little spoon. You don't have to do this step, but I just find it really helps evening out the color in the end and just kind of mix them up. And as you can kind of see, I've got about a pea size here of henna. So next we're gonna take our damp or our dropper and we're gonna mix it with really hot water from the tap. Not warm, not lukewarm. Um, the heat is what activates the henna. So we wanna get as hot as we can from the tap. And then we're gonna take our henna bee brush and I added about six drops or so. And then you can kind of give it a swirl and see if you need to add more to it. So what we're looking for is like a nice honey consistency. So you can see what's happening is when I pull it back, it's not flowing back very nicely. It's kind of sticking in its spot. So I'm going to add another drop and mix that in. So we don't want it to be too thick or chalky because it's not going to give an even coverage. Um, and we also don't want it to be very runny because um, it's just not going to stay in place when you apply it to the eyebrow. So we're looking for that nice honey consistency. So when you pull it back, it flows back nicely. See that? So once you have prepared the eyebrow with the Be Pampered Oil Free Cleanser, um, we've also just launched our new heat um, eye pads that you can apply beforehand because the heat is what helps uh, retain the henna and make it activated. So um, it's going to help retain it on the skin. 
Uh, you can go check that out on our website uh, if you want to kind of add that to your service. Um, and you can just apply the henna, leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you remove it with warm water. Um, and if you have the iPads, you can send your client home with the iPad um, to just add that extra heat and you're good to go. So that's our number two and number four, and this is gonna be quite blonde.